Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Asus ROG Jeffros M16 22 model laptop, one of the decent one. And today in this video, we're gonna install secondary storage drive in there, okay? The good point is with this machine, you would have double slot for NVMe SSD, so we're gonna install it. Because one TB is too little for that machine, especially if you play games and stuff, if you save this sort of stuff, okay? So the machine is pretty decent. First of all, what we have to do, we need to have one NVMe SSD like that. At this point, I choose Samsung Evo Plus 970, which is my first choice because that is one of the drawable one, but you can choose any one of them, Western Digital or any other brand, doesn't matter. So first of all, we need to switch this off completely, make sure there is no power. Then we need to take out the back cover, disconnect the battery first, and then physically we'll install the SSD. So we should have few tools as you can see right here, flat opening tool, metal, plastic, Phillips screwdriver in many different sizes as you can see, because the internal SSD slot one is a little bit bigger than outside back cover screws. So first of all, let's take out all of them. Some of them are locked with the back cover. So if it doesn't come out all the way, that's absolutely fine. So at this point, before we touch the main board, we have to disconnect this battery because this battery is so powerful and if you leave it connected, that could short it the motherboard, especially the GPU. That's what happened with many clients I found last time. So first thing, take a plastic tool or use your fingertips to disconnect it. There is a little latch. Once you slide forward, then you can just take this out. Now we are safe, we can just install the secondary drive that's the first one and here is the another slot and that is the screw is quite critical if you don't use the right screwdriver that could be cracked and you would end up with failure okay so take this out that's the model quite decent one quite fast and now we're going to take out the main screw and install once we install physically then we need to get into the system and format the secondary drive otherwise that would not be appear into your system and you don't be able to see the secondary drive previously i created a video i found many people got this issue once they installed the hard drive or ssd physically they was not able to find into this pc section which is normal and this problem we can solve it within a second is so simple we just need to get into disk partition and reformat the drive to make it visible you can choose either ntfs or fat32 whatever but i would suggest any drive has to be in ntfs for better performance
all right so finally it's physically installed now let's get into system and find as you can see there is only one drive and another one secondary one is not visible now the reason is the actual drive is not formatted this is in unallocated space so what are you going to do you're going to type disk manager I'm really sorry for the language because that is uh, from China and the operating system also in Chinese so I just type the disk manager and that's what came up so if you translate it it's saying there is a new drive found would you like to create the new partition so I put GPT and then if I click on create it's going to give us the option so let's do that now as you can see the disk number one which is at the bottom if you do right click and the top option which is create and NTFS I'm going to make only one partition and finally finish as you can see now it shows the drive letter D which is already created now you can close this and go to this PC to check if that is visible in the system or not so let's close it and if we click to this PC now we can see the secondary drive that's how simple it is now we can store many other data include your games videos whatever so please let me know how did you like this video if you have any comment that would be great and I hope you would subscribe to this channel to show your support. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.